Hi! Welcome back to my channel and for today's video, this time we will be talking about the limits involving a cosine function. Okay, so from the previous video, uh, surat ko lang, we have established a theorem ang nangyayari that is limit involving sine function. So, the limit of sine x all over x as x approaches 0 is 1. Now, ang gagawin natin dito, we are interested on this part like 1 minus cosine x over x. Kung multiply ko yan ng conjugate ng numerator, ang mangyayari, 1 plus cosine x all over 1 plus cosine x. Di ba this is equal to 1 minus cosine squared x all over x times 1 plus cosine x. What is this equal to? This is equal to sine squared x by trigonometry. Di ba ito yun? Dito na lang high scratch ko. This is sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. So, big sabihin, 1 minus cosine squared x is sine squared x. Okay. So, this is all over x times 1 plus cosine x. So, eto naman, pwede ko siyang paghiwalayin that is sine x times sine x. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, i-distribute ko yan. Bakit? May purpose tayo later. So, sine x over x times sine x all over 1 plus cosine x. Pero make sure provided here that x is not 0 and then x is not equal to pi plus 2 pi n. Kasi, mangyayari kasi if x is 0, maging undefined to. Okay? And then, um, if x is pi plus 2 pi n, ito naman ang magiging undefined. Okay. So, what happen if I take the limit of both sides? Kasi may, equi may equality na tayo, may equation na tayo, yan. So, if I take the limit of both sides, so mangyayari the limit of, ano yun? Um, 1 minus cosine x all over x as x approaches 0. That's the same as limit nito. Yan. Pero, limit of a product is equal to the product of a limit. So, I have... Limit of sine x all over x as x approaches 0 multiplied by the limit of sine x all over 1 plus cosine x as x approaches 0. Yan. Sure tayo 1 yan. Kaso ito is 0. So the answer is 0. So therefore, we have established our theorem. Yan. Um, dito na lang. So we have... Uh, theorem that the limit of 1 minus cosine x all over x as x approaches 0 is 0. Okay, let's try for example. Let's evaluate the limit of 1 minus cosine x all over sine x as x approaches 0. So, provided your x here is not 0, ha? Okay. How do we solve that? Di natin basta-basta isosolve yan using the theorem. Kasi yung theorem kasi, yung denominator is x. Kaso ditong bigay sa atin is sine x. So, we have limit of 1 minus cosine x all over sine x as x approaches 0. Ano kasi, eh? Pwede ko yung multiply yan ng x over x or 1 over x all over 1 over x. So, ang mangyayari, ganito siya. Limit ng 1 minus cosine x all over sine x as x approaches 0. Magmumultiply ako sa expression na to ng 1 over x all over 1 over x. Then, so, ang mangyayari... We have limit of 1 minus cosine x all over x all over sine x 
all over x as x approaches 0. And then, this is equal to, papasok muna na yung limit. Kasi wala naman tayong formula on how to deal with this one. So, kailangan muna siyang mapasok para maawat natin yung form. So, this becomes the limit of 1 minus cosine x all over x as x approaches 0. And all over the limit of sine x all over x as x approaches 0. So, alam na natin, this theorem here is... 0. This one here is 1. So the answer is 0. That's it. Okay, so let's try another example. Let's say we're interested to find the limit of sine x, cosine x, minus sine x, all over 3x squared as x approaches 0. Yan. So how do we solve that? Diba... Ang um, mangyayari, so, kopyahin ko muna, limit of sin x, cosine x, minus sin x, all over 3x squared as x approaches 0. Ang mangyayari dito, ano siya eh? Um, pwede ko i-factor si sin x, so na mayroon tayong sin x times cosine x minus 1 all over 3x squared. Parang obvious na yung sagot eh. Tapos, um, pwede kong ganituhin. We have sine x. I have one-third. So, bali yung one-third maging constant dyan. So, over x. So, may natitira pang x. Dito ko gagamitin. Tapos, eto, balik ta rin ko siya. So, nagiging negative of one minus cosine x. Tama? Diba? Algebraic manipulation lang. And then, Limit of a product is equal to the product of a limit. So, I have limit of one-third sine x all over x as x approaches zero times the limit of negative one minus cosine x all over x as x approaches zero. So, this is constant. So, lalabas lang si constant and then limit of sine x all over x as x approaches zero times yung negative 1 dito lalabas yan so this is negative 1 limit of 1 minus cosine x all over x as x approaches 0 so ito yung limit theorems na diniscuss natin now on this video and on the previous video so this one is 1 sana ito sana ito kasi 0 so the answer is 0 that's it so let's have a final example so we have we have uh, limit of cotangent squared x all over 3x squared as x approaches 0. So, how do we solve this? Yung limit ng cotangent squared x all over 3x squared as x approaches 0. Pwede kong gawin to. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Yung cotangent kasi natin, alam natin that um, cotangent theta that's equal to cosine theta over sine theta sa trigonometry. Tama? So, I have uh, cosine squared theta all over sine squared theta. Oh, hindi pala tayo theta, no? X pala. So, X. So, cosine squared X all over sine squared X all over 3X squared as x approaches 0. Okay. Then, how do we do that? Mangyayari, this is limit of cosine squared x all over sine squared x times 3x squared as x approaches 0. Okay. And then, anong kasunod nito? Uh, pwede ko bang gawin to? This is limit of um, cosine squared x all over um, sine x over x times x pa dyan, times another sine x over x times x pa dyan. Tapos, meron pang 3x squared. Kasi, eto siya. Yung 3x squared mo yan... Tapos, yung sin x mo, eto, sin x squared yan. So, naglalagay ako ng x. So, lalagyan ko ng x. And then dito, and then dito. 
Okay, and um, as x approaches 0, let's double check what happened now. Ang mangyayari, pwede kong ihiwalay ito. Tingnan natin ha, ang mangyayari kasi dito, we have limit of 1 over yan, sin x over x times x as x approaches 0 times meron pang limit ng 1 over sin x over x times x as x approaches 0. Pero para simplicity na lang, i-square ko na lang sila. Kasi, di ba, the meron tayong limit of exponent um of the nth power. So ga, ganito yihin ko siya. Si big sabihin, di ba, uh, the limit of f of x um squared as x approaches c pwede siyang limit of f of x as x approaches c then take the square. Parang ganun. So meron tayo niyan on the previous uh video. So, di, bakit n to? So, dapat 2 siya. Yan. 2. Times the limit of cosine squared x all over 3x squared. As x approaches 0. Yan. Di ba ang mangyayari? So, the limit of, ito yung kukunin nating function f. Ito yung kukunin nating function g. So, yung g mo kasi, g of x approaches 0. Kung titingnan mo, this is true positive values. Yan. So, nag-approach sa 0 true positive values of x. Kasi kukuha ka ng x na positive, mag-approach sa 0 eh. So, therefore, this one is positive infinity. Okay. This one is constant. So, the product, we have a theorem that if the limit of f of x uh, times g of x daw as x approaches c and then one of them is positive infinity the other is a constant yung result is positive infinity okay so therefore ano yung sagot the the answer here is positive infinity okay so if you have any questions or clarification guys please let me know so that we can discuss on that. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. So if you have any questions or clarification, please let me know so that we can discuss on that. And for those who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. Thank you guys and have a great day.